Hey, what's up family? It's Akanka and I'm back with another message. Today's lesson is about pain plus lessons equals assets. Oftentimes the universe allows us to feel pain so that um, it teaches us lessons that our soul needs to learn. Not learning the lessons makes our pain a liability. For example, it leads us down a road of depression and sadness, addictions, um, feeling burdened, um, always worried, um, angry, volatile, easily triggered. Those are just some of the low vibrational energies that we can get trapped in if we're not able to process our pain and pull the lessons out of it to move past it, okay? By turning your pain into an asset, you're essentially catapulting into the best version of yourself. That means you're getting closer and closer to merging with your higher self. You are becoming your God self. And once that happens, it's a domino effect of miracles, blessings, abundance, overflow. You see, last but not least, you are going to be required to eradicate the memory and the emotion of that painful experience that's keeping you trapped, okay? And let me tell you how you do that. You release that thing and let it go. Give it to the divine to transform and to transmute for you so that you don't have to deal with it. Let it go. I will tell you, sometimes that's the hardest part is letting go. That's going to be the biggest challenge for you. I promise. Letting it go. And I'll tell you why. It's because you have your shadow and your ego in your ear saying, huh? You never got justice. That situ wasn't, situation wasn't fair. Those people, they did, they did you dirty. They backstabbed you. You trusted them. You gave them your all and they crapped on you. And you never got any justice. You never saw anybody get their karma from that, right? So all you want is justice. You want fairness. And so that little inner child inside of you is holding on to that thing with a death grip. But spirit say you have to let it go, right? And once you let it go, spirit is going to fling the door wide open for karma to walk through, sashay her way on in, and deal with the situation in a just and fair manner, okay? Sometimes you may see it, sometimes you may not. But, you, but the whole premise of this is you have to trust spirit. You have to trust spirit enough to just let it go. Let it go. Tell your ego and tell your shadow to shut up. They're not running it. You're running the show. You have to check your ego and your shadow. Put them in time out. Tell them, shut up. I don't need your help right now. I got this. I got this. It's me and my higher self, AKA spirit. We work in this. I, I'm good. So when you hear those repeating, nope, 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 nope. When you hear those repeating thoughts come in, stop them. Because they're only going to lead you to be stuck in our low vibrational energy. And remember, the goal of this thing, this whole path that we're moving on right now, is a goal of higher vibration. Period. That's it. So if something is in your life that doesn't lead you to a high vibration, you got you to gotta get rid of it. So we have to close the curtain on our ego. Okay? We have to take our ego out of the spotlight. Stop giving him or her so much power to keep us stuck. Okay. Remove the heavy garment of victimization that we've been carrying around for so long, right? We can't move past. Remove that garment and leave it on the stage. Leave it behind. Walk away. Walk away from that garment. Walk away from your ego. Leave them both behind in the dust because you don't need them anymore. Only thing you need is spirit. Only thing you need to do is trust spirit. Now, this is a process. I'm going I'm to be honest with you. It takes work. It's not going to happen overnight. I don't know. You may be lucky. It didn't happen for me overnight. For me, it took years. But it doesn't have to take you years. It can take a few days, up on through a, two, a few years, up on through a few decades. It just depends on how much trauma you have to unpack. Because some people have... A lifetime of trauma that they have to unpack. 
And it's not fair to expect to heal that in a month. Okay. So you have to dig in deep and be patient, be gentle and be kind with yourself and understand that this is a process. It's a day to day process. And you wake up each day with the intent that I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep fighting because guess what? This is spiritual warfare. You're fighting between your higher self, your ego, and your shadow. This is spiritual warfare. Baby, you are healing your demons. You're healing your inner demons. That is difficult. It's very difficult. And sometimes it feels like, like you're not making progress. Some days it feels like you take two steps forward and you go five steps back. You see what I'm saying? It's going to feel like that. But you got to trust spirit. You got to trust the process. I promise you. You are going to look up one day and you're going to be like, oh my effing goodness. I did this shit. I got through it. It's over. I won. I won the battle. I won the spiritual battle. I slayed these inner demons. Demon slayer. That's what you are. That's what you will be. You're a demon slayer. So you're just going to have to be be patient, be loving, be kind to your inner child who is afraid to let all that drama, chaos, pain, disappointment, um, traumatic experiences and situations. Your inner child is afraid to let that go. But you got to nurture your inner child. You got to be loving, gentle, kind, nurturing. Okay? It's reassuring. And you gotta you gotta step and walk in that faith like bruh, like your life depends on it. Because it does. You gotta get these, you gotta get these spiritual lessons. You gotta get these spiritual lessons so you can put a check mark next to everything you were sent to come here to do. That's part of it. Okay? Once you get once you get through that process, once you get on the other side of that process. Listen, you step into your glory with the divine. The divine opens another door. That first door is, is karma to handle all of the uh, wrongdoings that were um, set against you. The second door is the door to all of your blessings and your abundance, your happiness, your freedom. It's like you breaking through the chains of being a mental and spiritual slave. You're free. How amazing does that sound? Freedom. Mental freedom. Clarity. Happiness. Joy. Abundance. You wake up with just a free flowing energy coming through your heart. You heal your heart. You heal all the energy. And regenerate this beautiful energy that flows from your heart chakra. absolutely incredible in those hard days where it feels like oh i thought i was making progress here i am again stuck again here i am again my shadow is beating me down bruh you don't have to go through this fight alone you have your ancestors your spirit guides your higher self aka spirit you have your orishas you have the archangels bro you have a whole heavenly host of spirits that are assigned to assist you on this journey. So don't feel like you got to be in this by yourself. Even if spirit separates you from everybody. Because typically that's how that process goes. Spirit will separate you from everybody. Friends, family, everything you, everybody. And it's going to require you to be in your own bag. You're going to have to be in your own spiritual bag. You don't, you can't use any distractions. You may even be separated from spirit may even tell you to shut down social media, do a fast so that you can just focus on spirit. That's, that's, that's what I did. I did a 30 day fast and I think it's been over 30 days. I haven't been back on it because the stuff on there be too negative and I don't have time to be in a low vibration. I have to keep my energy, my vibration high. People be on there saying some reckless stuff and they just be too negative. 
I try to try to guard and protect my spirit from all that negative external stuff. You definitely have your spirit guides and all of the heavenly um, spirits to help you, guide you through this process. Just let them know. I seek help and direction. I seek healing. I need your help because I'm not really 100% sure what I need to do for my special situation. And I promise you, you're going to be you're going to be given some guidance if you only knew how many angelic spirits were assigned to you to help you through this process so once you reach out and ask the heavenly spirits for help you're going to start getting messages okay pay attention because sometimes they're soft and they're quiet messages they just pop up out of the blue when you're just ch really chilling like in chill mode when you don't have nothing going on they'll they'll pop up Okay, pay attention. And when you hear it, act on it. Don't just let it, don't just let it, you know, fall by the wayside. Write it down in your journal. Keep a log. Okay. You may be, um, spirit may say, you need to stop eating meat. Spirit may say, you need to, um, you need to run. Spirit may say, you need to eat more uh, green, leafy, green leafy vegetables, something like that. I don't know. But, it comes in all different forms. Spirit may say, you need to go out and feed the homeless. Spirit may say, you need to start a YouTube channel. I don't know what spirit is going to tell you, but you got to listen out for that guidance. Okay? They're going to guide you. Spirit, they may say, I need you to go out and to sit, sit, behind, sit beside the water. Just sit there and listen to the water flow. I don't know. But you'll hear it. And you'll know. You'll know. Just ground into what spirit asks you to do. Be obedient. And then one day you're going to look up and realize, oh my goodness, I've actually done this. And you will see that you've been delivered into glory. Your divine happiness and your abundance. Once you're delivered into your glory, then it's time to turn around and help others. Come through their hell. Guide them through their hell. And into their... Um, glory their divinity and their happiness okay family no one said it was going to be easy but we're built for this we got this love and light